stupid. <laughs> Dinosaurs are stupid and I hate them. I'm just doing it because of these nerds. Oh, Got it no. on tape. <laughs> it's credibility. Shut the this was all a conspiracy to take me down. Yeah, we got her in this house. Sweetness, yeah. we, got her. we got her. I was in the gym and someone was like, were you on Cracked? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, well, what happened? And I was like, in the middle of running. And I was like, I don't have time Yeah, I'm, to Yeah, I'm doing this. a thing. Yeah. It's also the only thing I've ever been in my whole life part of that's notable enough that I'm like, Actually, there are articles about how <laughs> we happened? got laid yeah. off and why. You could just Google it. I was yeah. literally like holding a weight at the time and I was like, really, right now? <laughs> You're yeah. asking me? Uh, he was just trying to demotivate you because yeah, he wanted exactly. to use that like, weight set. He's right. like, I'm going to depress her till she yeah. leaves. Yeah. <laughs> how uh, did you get fired? This is us arguing about, I'm keeping this in. What? Oh, what? Who's going first? What's the, what's the runner? You're not going to edit this. <laughs> I'm scanning the notes I wrote weeks ago. Oh. So. <laughs> Well, I got a dinosaur. Some kind of big lizard, I see. Yeah, I'm learning. <laughs> mm, guys, di- guys, guys. <laughs> Just says dinosaur. Guys, gather around, guys. Uh, yeah, gather please around. take over as host of yeah. I, I have a good, I have a real good dinosaur, guys. Ooh. What dinosaur real I'm good? I'm interested. Uh, well, I, I want you to, you know, to divert your attention to this little, little buddy oh. uh, called the Hespernicus. Today's dinosaur. Uh, which is, uh, it means Western Claw, but I'm, for the rest of this podcast, going to call it the name that I prefer to call, which is Meth Turkey. Meth Turkey. little buddy. We were going well, he's a little Bridges buddy. Thing. He's yeah. a little buddy, but uh, there's an image. There's many, like, artist ver- like versions sure. of yeah. this, and they all look like a turkey that's just done a lot of meth. <laughs> cool. Wait, Hephaestus? I gotta, I gotta say the name again. Hypernicus. Hypernicus. Like Copernicus. But, yeah. Huh. Huh. Or Hespernicus. Yeah. Sorry. Hespernicus. Hespernicus. Hesper- okay, so it's like Hester Prynne mm-hmm. from The Scarlet Letter. Mm-hmm. If she were a dinosaur that said that the, the earth was around. Earth, <laughs> it goes around the sun. Okay, yeah. got okay. it. Or Hespernicus. Meth turkey. Meth turkey is <laughs> easier. <laughs> That's why I thought of it. Uh, so it's a genus of small carnivorous. Uh, and I'm going to screw this up, but Drumminosaurid, which means um, it's like a small to medium-sized carnivore birdish type thing, mm-hmm. uh, kind of in the raptor family. Uh, and uh, it ranged from, and these are the kind of raptors that would range from like flying to uh, like gliding, like bird type dinosaurs. Did you not but pick one really... dinosaur and just pick like a nest of dinosaurs? What? Because you're naming... You're describing hey. a clade, I believe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a clade. But wait, you wait. did pick a particular uh, little buddy that you're going to hone yeah. in on, Yeah, oh, okay. Right? okay. Well, that's what All the right. Hespernicus is. Man, imagine the inferiority complex of being a, a gliding raptor mm-hmm. and yeah. a flying raptor goes by in the air. You're just hey, like, let's yeah. fly over here. I'm just gliding. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. although I, I'm not sure, but I think the... Uh, like due to the scale of time, like this is late uh, Cretaceous oh, period. So I thought you said the dude of the scale of time, and I was like, oh, does no, he dictate the dude? Yeah, of scale dude. Of time? <laughs> no, due to the scale yep, of yep, time. Yep. Uh, this is like late dinosaurs, like as late as it gets before mm-hmm. you know the comet. The came. millennial dinosaurs. Yeah. yeah, this is the series finale where the baby says, "Not the mom," and, and you can see the meteorite. And there, w- so there wasn't a ton of. Like, mammals and dinosaurs were kind of, like, equals at this point. There's a lot of small, not a lot of big creatures around. Yeah, because um, I know the asteroid. That's the narrative. Or yeah. I've always been thought, I've always thought that the Yucatan Peninsula came from the asteroid hitting and that destroyed the dinosaurs yeah. with, like, cloud cover, right? Right. Um, but that's, there's still lots of paleontologists, historians, I don't know where the <laughs> distinction is sure. when you're talking about uh, geologists, but who argue that it actually all could have mostly been that mammals just straight up beat them fair and square because mm-hmm. tiny little mammals fed on eggs and like got so oh. good at it that yeah. there was a generation where not enough they babies They also were have born. The, the thumbs, uh, yeah. uh, you know, like not opposable <laughs> thumbs yet, but early they stage developed. They could yeah. dinosaurs <laughs> out they with They could their climb thumbs. up. They didn't yeah. have claws. They had paws. They're you know? just like off the top rope onto the eggs. Mm-hmm. They could uh, burrow. They didn't. They could burrow. Yeah. They had, they could. It's easier to be safe when you're tiny and you're yeah. Yeah, a yeah, little yeah, yeah, yeah. Mammals uh, are the definition. Well, we're going to talk about those eggs yeah. and this competition. That's why I like this dinosaur. Is that it's got good eggs. 
beef with mammals. Okay. <laughs> and I just think that that's funny. I like the uh, rat beef of dinosaurs right, so and mammals. Raptors in general. Beef wouldn't even be possible without mammals, so watch this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Good one. Raptors uh, existed in the mid, uh, like Jurassic to cr- late Cretaceous periods, just mm-hmm. for anyone who's checking. Like, just so everyone knows, the second half of the movie, late in the second half of the movie, is when like raptors existed. Sure. All types yeah. of raptors. The movie of dinosaur life, not Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, the real movie. Um, so the bones were found in 1982, and they were basically just lying around until, like, we had them, but we didn't know what they were. So they were just, like, in a museum or whatever. I just have these bones. Yeah. And <laughs> then been hanging on so, to these bones. So, we don't know yeah, what we've been found. hanging on to them for a few decades. And then in 2009, someone wrote a paper due to other bones like a bone researcher i assume mm-hmm. yeah. uh and figured out what these bones were and the fossils were covered in lo- lower uh alberta and like northern montana area which is like a hotbed for like raptor stuff mm-hmm. apparently do you have like, a- we found a lot of little tiny bird-like things there is that what raptor means i'm not trying to put you on the spot if yeah that, it's if bird you're... of prey is what okay. a raptor. Uh, and some birds today are still classified as raptors yes. right? like a hawk is yeah a raptor. like a falcon yeah uh-huh, uh-huh, uh uh-huh. birds of prey but in so when you think of velociraptor or micro raptor these are little bird like they run like birds like it's Their it's all joints about yeah. are like bird it's kind of like the bone yeah. structure matters it's also like I, I don't know what really dictates the class, like, classification, but I'm pretty sure it's bone base yeah. since that's what we have. <laughs> um, so, bone base alpha. There's a Ignite. few. <laughs> so there, there's a few things that and so raptors th- all come together and form a giant. Raptor. <laughs> they found this about 76 uh, and a half million years ago, and uh, the reason I know a lot about this is that there's a Smithsonian installation that's been up and i just think it's funny because the name for it like the name for the installation about this ser- like sequence of birds mm-hmm. or a sequence of raptors yeah. is a tiny killer hell <laughs> cuz it's a tiny little killer a bone base alpha so story so how tiny uh the length is under a meter so like okay. 3 feet and we're talking big tail so it can't yeah, so, swim up your urethra. No, no, <laughs> no. Not that type of tiny killer. No, your urethra uh, anyway. It weighed about two kilograms, like four pounds. Uh-huh. Uh, making it one of the smallest known carnivorous dinosaurs from so North America. So it's like a small dog. Yeah. It sounds like a pangolin. Do you know what that but is? But also remember, a pangolin? A, yeah, I think I do. It's like an armadillo I'm type animal yeah, with yeah, no yeah. shell. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, kind of. Remember meth turkey, though. I'm s- yeah, we'll post images as always on the show notes because right, that's important. Right. If for you dino, want to pull it up, feel dino free. Stuff. Uh, but yeah, so I can't. I'm holding these bones no. <laughs> <laughs> for a couple decades. Uh, there was other smaller ones like the Albertinicus. Albertinicus. Don't look at me like yeah. I can help. I don't know, but something also found in Alberta. Discord nerds will figure it out. Likely yeah. an insectivore. <laughs> Um, mm-hmm. So here's what uh, here's what I like about it. It brought up a lot of questions. <laughs> it is a meth Roughly, turkey. Uh, yeah, there's the meth turkey right there. Oh. So yeah, um, and do they know it had feathers, or is it's um, widely like, thought it had? It's feathers? widely thought okay. that it had feathers, just like a lot of dinosaurs. Uh, it looks like it's screaming, "Kill me!" Yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> I think meth turkey is right. I think it yeah. really. Uh, it has yeah, bags that's... under its eyes that seem to say, I will break into your house and yeah. pawn your television. Yeah. And although it's a, it's a killer, it has like three teeth. So Yeah, it's, it's losing <laughs> its teeth. Yeah. Uh, so unlike what is contemporarily known as like Europe and Asia now, North America back then appeared to lack very small carnivorous dinosaurs. There weren't, they weren't mm-hmm. there. Like, that's just what we know. For whatever reason, they couldn't survive. Uh, and they niche. were uh, dominated by endothermic mammals, like meaning small animal species just outnumbered large ones to a vast extent during this period of the Cretaceous, right? Since dinosaurs are presumed to have, like, are uh, also considered endotherms, uh, the lack of small species and the greater number of uh, uh, known large species in North America was very unusual. Um, mm. So during this time, in this area, there wasn't a lot of big dinosaurs. Mostly small, little, tiny guys. Uh, Yay. And, and, the uh, and there wasn't it? much in between. <laughs> there was like some big guys, a lot of tiny guys. Know what we think of when we think of like a Triceratops or you know anything like, like a that. T- like 
T Rex is pretty big, right? But wouldn't those be roaming n- around at that time or no? Um, <laughs> not in that place. Not in that not place. Yeah. Not in that place. Your shrews, your voles. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're talking about here. Um, By the way, endothermia, exothermia is, in layman terms, cold and warm blooded, right? Yeah. Are they yeah. In, okay? So, I still don't understand. A nerd will explain it to me <laughs> harshly online after this yeah. airs, mm-hmm. but if. So we're dinos- so dinosaurs were warm blooded. Period. No, no, they're like reptiles. They're like that's cold- what I thought. Yeah, they're okay. Uh, uh, some some were not cold blooded though. Oh, that's it's so weird. F- also, yeah. I think it's I don't know if there's any debate about specific dinosaurs or it's mm-hmm. just this clade mm-hmm. is you know that they possibly were warm blooded. Yeah. You know, but during this time. Uh, and like just how the the weather was, how the climate was, and just what was there to eat and stuff like that, it made it seem that uh, a a lot of the smaller uh, there wasn't a lot of small carnivores mm-hmm. around. Uh, there was mostly herbivores or some omnivores, like insectivores, be- right. things that would eat right. tiny little bugs and stuff like that. The vegetarians um, will outlive us all. Yeah. So during this time, there wasn't a lot of big dinosaurs, mostly small little guys, but. Uh, there's this paper that kind of changed kind of the thinking of how like the mammal uh, reptile or mammal dinosaur interaction happened and like mm-hmm. what was going on there. Cause no one was really sure about like, how is it that we're getting smaller dinosaurs here and bigger dinosaurs here and smaller here? Like what the fuck's going on? Uh, so they were arguing that the dinosaurs couldn't get much smaller uh, because they're eating mammals and mammals were kept small because they're eaten by the dinosaurs, kind of a stalemate of size. So as food was getting, like for carnivores, as, as meat eaters, because they're both getting smaller and smaller down the food chain, kind of mm-hmm. like think of Game of Thrones and the dragons, like they're just slowly getting smaller in right. size. Is that, spoiler alert, the dragons shrink into cute little baby dragons yeah. in oh. the Game of Thrones. Yeah. No, is that happening? Are the dragons on Game of Thrones getting smaller? They're the ones that they, historically, oh, right. the bones. Before. They say that like the grand- grandparents of these dragons right. were fucking huge. They were oh, like, okay. there's that vis- I, I don't know. Yeah. What, the uh, yeah. one with the V and I it was like enormous the and then all the most recent ones are like little dogs. Gotcha. Right. Uh, right, right, right. And then of course the one and that then they Daenerys extinct. has like right. a medium sized one. Yeah, yeah, they went extinct and then, <laughs> yeah. yeah, she... Uh, birthed more? Yeah, uh, well, guess. they were She's Yannick eggs that she kept, you know, tucked right. up there, and then a and dragon the, shot out, right? Like chestburster style is my yeah. That's, yep, that's exactly how it happened. <laughs> so we will be accepting no corrections on that. So in the late <laughs> Cretaceous, uh, specifically non-avian dinosaurs were flourishing. Uh, they weren't large mammals, but like small dog-sized mammals at the mm-hmm. largest, yeah. you know? So this is like what's right in the wheel. They're in direct competition. With I'm going to choose with to dogs. imagine meth turkey. basset hounds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> basset hounds versus meth turkeys. That's what we're talking about. That is that the is, next Godzilla uh, movie. Now, I no want. one really knows at this time what they ate exactly. Like, Across the board, like we're, but they're pretty sure they have carnivorous looking teeth. So they may have eaten baby dinosaurs. There's some evidence to prove that, but it wasn't a usual thing, by the you way. You keep saying turkey, and now I imagine they eat turkey. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. But like, that's something that was news to me is that uh, apparently eating the young. Uh, it's great. <laughs> no, it was, it was like uh, that wasn't a big dinosaur thing. They didn't do that. It was frowned upon. It was not frowned upon. It just wasn't. <laughs> but this dino did. There's no unusual. evidence of it, but there is evidence that this this one, one was ate, unusual. Like yeah. one up to babies. Well, it sounds like babies. if every... Cla- classic meth turkey. <laughs> classic meth turkey. If the whole yeah. food chain is downsizing, mm-hmm. uh, because there's less resources to go around, mm-hmm. much like Matt Damon himself. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> It makes sense that it might be they're desperate, right? So it's probably yeah, like yeah. a lean time generally for yeah, like exactly. hundreds of years. Exactly. So over time they're like, Yeah, I'll eat a baby. Time <laughs> like, up. I'll, yeah. I'll eat a baby and I'll and then I'll just go back to my R V in my truck. Yeah. Around. This is like pre- in Hollister, like- California. <laughs> well now we're just reminiscing about our trip to Burning Man. <laughs> this so, seems very end of days dinosaurs, mm-hmm. which it right. is. It kinda is. Yeah. It was just kinda like the it's kind of like the meteor was just like, mm, 
sad. <laughs> it's real sad. Let, I'm just gonna let's end do it. you a favor. Just, <laughs> the meteor was actually the just drawing a curtain over the corpse. Yeah, you know, like just right. <laughs> so the mammals mostly eat seeds, insects, and fruit. Uh, mm-hmm. That's what we're talking about here. So once again, I'm you know you you want to think of that little tiny like lemurs and stuff. And the lower down the food chain you are, the closer to plants. Yeah, the yeah. more stable, the more you can survive cataclysms. Yeah. Uh, now, of course, they were better and had completely taken over that market, right? Because they were <laughs> they had hands. Yeah. You want seats? You want fruits? You come to me. <laughs> all right. Yeah. The vole. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, another question is its bones may have given more evidence that uh, the bone structure was most similar uh, or notably dissimilar to other Northern American dinosaurs. Like it mm. didn't, its bone structure did not look like Northern American dinosaurs yeah. that they're finding at the time. Mm. Or in the past, uh, you know, when it would make sense that there would. Its relatives were in like China. And uh, that's where, like, a lot of feathered dinosaurs were. Um, So it was 45 years earlier than the Chinese dinosaurs were even, like, found to exist. So what's up with that? Like, (laughs) This is a real Hunter S. Thompson of dinosaurs just road tripping. It's like a conspiracy theory. It's like, so you have in Canada this, uh, like, a a few microraptors that are, like, clearly feathered have a bone structure that says like this is what they are and they're very similar looking nothing like anything around them and then 45 million years later all of a sudden across the way uh a whole bunch of them are like fed, like look like them mm-hmm. so like what's with that gap so obviously people are thinking like land bridges and they lived in a the area where like now is Pacific Ocean kind of thing. Right. And all those bones are just at the bottom of the sea or something. That's one possible theory. Uh, convergent and divergent evolution. Right. Similar right. conditions, long yeah. enough time period. And, it's, and maybe they're not exactly the same animal. They had nothing they to do with totally each other. The same. But they bone structure. They both like, evolution made it happen. Yeah. And they now yeah. look like the same thing. So that uh, and it's mainly because there was. The bone structure was for running, like kind of like when you think of a velociraptor right. or a chicken, like they <laughs> yeah. run like that, yeah. as opposed to like a Tyrannosaurus rex, which doesn't run in the same way. A chicken leg still has a joint, doesn't it? I, I mean, this know. has like a weird uh, thigh knee. That's joint. what I mean. Is like yeah. dinos have that dog leg that allows them to run. Do my. I'm just thinking of a cartoon, but when right. I draw a chicken, it just has like a straight little foot. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Okay. There's no one's expected to know this, but I bet there's like people who grew up on a farm out there who are like, how could you not know this? Do you, chickens have knees? <laughs> I, I've seen many a chicken and uh, I can't off that off the top of my head tell you. No. Chickens, uh, they, have they definitely have a bend. So I would say, yeah, they have knees. Right. I think the knees are like, I might be so wrong, like in their bodies, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where sure. are your, where uh, are your are their feathers? <laughs> no, because their feathers are so poofy. Maybe they yeah, go yeah, down yeah, below. Yeah, yeah, it's they, like, like, you, you ever seen a shaved bear? Or no, like, don't I, do it. I can't verify that my fluffy male cat has a penis. <laughs> it's no. never mm-hmm. been seen. But I trust that he does. You but, know, I believe in him. Yeah, you believe <laughs> that he's got that dick. But you've never seen it, right. so... That doesn't mean maybe. it doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> the he won't shut up about it. Dick. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's that's basically what I wanted to show you guys today, mm-hmm. is basically that this one little meth turkey caused the rethinking of the entire, of, like, I don't know, the paleontologist bureau. I don't know what they have. <laughs> the bureaus. The, the men in black They're of paleontologists. Caused a, like, in 2009, caused a thing where everyone was like, what the fuck is this? But we're learning as we do this show, I think, that that happens, happens more than more, you think. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, that could still be... It's funny that someone in Tanya, Tanganyika could be like, yeah. I found some bones. And they're like, this <laughs> changes everything mm-hmm. tomorrow. So we'll see. Have they found a lot of these bones? Uh, they found... I don't know how many they found, but I know that they found more than the like the Dreadnoughtus, which is the one I talked about before. Where right. They only found two. I think they found like a group of them. Because, yeah, huh. you start to trust it more and more if they're like, oh, yeah, we got a pile of skeletons of that right. in the closet <laughs> right. over here at the Smithsonian. Yeah. Right. 
Because it has to be pretty unique, the conditions that allow us to find a fossil. Like, right. it's like a basin that is flooded or something like that, that it can kind of, like, encrust in time and rock mm. what these like what these things look like and had the shape of them. And often it's like remains. So they're like eat to sh like yeah. something ate the shit out of them. So their bones are all over the place. I love researching this podcast because something I've been finding time and time again is especially the earlier dinosaurs, like the history of like we find bones in like 1908 or something like that. Right. And then it's not even found out it's a brontosaurus until like 2000. Right. Because the early days of paleontology was a guy just like holding a bunch of bones and being like playing Legos and he didn't understand anything. He was like, yeah. look at that. Yeah. And the cultural realities, there was like uh, one of the most prolific fossil finders in that era, I think was Mary Anning. I'll correct that later if I'm wrong, I'll look it up again. Yeah. But like I was reading a thing about how, well, if you have a vagina, you can't find bones. <laughs> so, true. It's, it's true. So uh. in that era, you have all these papers where someone's like, yeah, my stupid wife found some bones. <laughs> I confiscated them from her, of course, because yeah. it's unladylike. <laughs> I posit that it's an ancient phonograph because I have connected the bones thusly yeah. with wire. Well, <laughs> you like, give the bones back to your wife, dude. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, it was that. And then uh, I feel like a lot of dinosaurs were found during the Bone Wars, which was just like a pissing contest between the two right. dudes who were just like, putting like gluing bones together that didn't mm. exist that mm -hmm. didn't like go together to be like i found this dinosaur no i found this dinosaur so i feel like a lot of it we early definitely on definitely talk about the bone wars. well the yeah, bone wars, if you follow yeah. uh, robert evans great podcast behind the bastards he talks about how the doctor who sort of spawned all the papers that he used for the anti-vaxxing movement w was horrified by that outcome yeah and was really just trying to like cash in on a quick scam like right he only published anti-vaxxing stuff because he was the spokesperson for a miracle cure that competed with vaccines right. at that time <laughs> and oh, it's so it's crazy to me that political, like career exigency, oh, like yeah. literally a guy's yeah. like, well, this guy's paper got published this month in this journal. I have to have something to show my guys right. next month. So I'll fudge it. Yeah. Maybe the tail came out of the top of the head. I don't know. It looks mm -hmm. really cool. I know. And when we I did move some papers. And I know. <laughs> and when I did that in college, they almost kicked me out. So <laughs> yeah. wait. Did you steal dinosaur bones? I stole and dinosaurs in yes, and mm -hmm. rearranged them. It was like I found a new dinosaur, mm -hmm. and they're like, "You're expelled." And I don't. And what class uh, had you hoped to? Uh, submit it was that a in? film school paleontology. Uh, paleontology yeah, for yeah. filmmakers. Double session. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be because at UCSD it took one. They had weird like arts plus computing majors. That's true. Yeah. They had some performance art element. There right. were some majors where you could. They'd be like, "We have to expel you," but hey, I just want you to know. Good I got job. it. Very, very edgy, very yeah. underground. I got it. Yeah, I, I took know. a class in 2005. I want to say All right. uh, that was like one year before the internet. Like everything, internet in art changed. <laughs> Internet, Internet art. So in was it just paint? No, it was just it like was hamster dance and the hamster dance and like the GI Joe PSAs and stuff like that. Like it was memes. Yeah. So it's a class. I took a where meme class like, before look, memes knew. We're smart enough to know this is going to be a big deal in yeah. ten years. Yeah, not much we can do about it now. Just look at them. <laughs> This just, will be huge yeah. soon. Yeah. It'll be everything. I remember one of my favorite <laughs> things is one of my friends ro rose their hand and like, does this matter? <laughs> and my professor was like, um, not sure yet. <laughs> and that's when Bridget rolled in her. Yeah. And I was like, well, bone I, my, <laughs> yeah. and she was like, bone wars over motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Mic uh, drop. Oh no, I broke the bones. Oh well, no, the yeah. bones. I'm making the next three Jurassic yeah. World films. It's cool. It's There's cool. Uh, yeah. And I wonder to this day, and I'm sure, and it's tough because people have pride about their own yeah. profession, right? Or a defensive. So I want to ask like, yeah, pay, working paleontologists and archaeologists who listen to the show, yeah. write <laughs> in and say like, how sure we are, has your confidence in your like decisions you make yeah. increased? Is it super good now? But I even wouldn't believe it because if they're like, oh, yeah, we only say right stuff about bones now. I'd be like, but that's the same thing I would say if my professionalism was questioned. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'd be like, I mean, of I course, we, we're on top of these bones all the time. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's a degree of uncertainty in every profession, I think. I yeah. wonder how much they admit to, I guess. Yeah. I wonder how much ego is like, involved. I wonder if anyone ever does a showing where they're like, here's a new dinosaur. I think it'll change everything. I wanted to name it after myself. 
There's like a 45% chance it exists. Let right. me in. Come on. Isn't that good enough? I Because there are just so many stories. I feel like it's so embarrassing. There are so many stories where you're like, oh, yeah, that tail. That tail was a neck the whole time. We just <laughs> yeah. put it in the wrong place yeah. when we glued it together. Because uh, it, it and, looked like the things right. went together. But the reality is that neck bone is actually right. a completely different animal. And it's a yeah. leg bone. You no, know. my flip flop just fell in on the third day. That's <laughs> yeah. where you have yeah. that as like a leg. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I mean, I think that paleontology has only gotten like it has to it's be best better. it's ever been, <laughs> yeah. of course. But it's only been around as much as long as like filmmaking. I mean, obviously, right. we were finding fossils like I think like 200 years ago or something like that but like only 100 years ago 120 years ago people started actually caring about the science behind it if I'm you know correct me if I'm wrong and then so I think the bone wars that you're alluding to is that's like the 40s through the 60s right right? or maybe even earlier I think early I think it was like I I mean I could be wrong but in the drunk history I saw about Uh it uh it seemed like it was like 30s or 40s. 30s or 40s, yeah, yeah. cuz that's what I that was like the bone explosion. <laughs> the bone explosion. <laughs> yeah, like the bonacopia. Bonacopia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, there just was a lot of people who got interested in it, you know, and um I think they also This is later than that. Yeah. The, you know, the Hespernicus is Well, yeah, until lit. you get to like carbon dating and lidar right. and stuff that we use now, it's also an interesting kind of science cuz it's mostly just classification Mm. and looking at things and making guesses based on the size and configuration. Mm. Uh, Yeah, because at some point it was just digging. Like, I feel like that's why so many people found it because there's no science. They just dug. It's like bird watching. Like, you could just do it as an old person hobby and theoretically find good bones because anyone can. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you got a shovel, you're a paleontologist. So, That's wrong. I'm sorry. It's harder to apply. Back in the old days, it seems much harder to apply, like, scientific the standard scientific method where you have a hypothesis and you yeah. prove or disprove it right because you're really just going like look at the bones don't you think consult them <laughs> it looks yeah. like a human bone in this way so i'm gonna say it probably is that yeah. probably okay. a bone <laughs> yeah turns out it's just a stick the bones just talk to me and, yeah <laughs> and like just be like a savant like yeah. a real artist of bones was uh-huh. a definite thing i think still is yeah it's some yeah. like psychics in the psychics mall will cast consult bones. the bones and Can, oh. get the bones talk to you of course bones. Yeah. yeah. Tell you your fate. That's what we always used to say in Dungeons and Dragons when we rolled the dice. Is consult the did bones. Did you hit the did you hit the zombie? I must consult the bones. <laughs> the bones. Yeah. But we're pretty sure this one's real. This meth turkey. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This <laughs> one's real. It's not a murky turkey. Yeah. Yeah. Uh speaking of, but like it's interesting how far it ranges. Just in my research I stumbled upon there's a like a brontosaurus type dinosaur that there's only one, they're pretty sure it existed, but there's only one known bone. Right. And it's a neck bone and it has a giant rock lodged in it. So they think that it died trying to swallow a rock. <laughs> oh, or did it get hit directly cute... by the meteor? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was the meteor. Was... <laughs> and, it, and it's also the only like known iteration of its species, if mm. true. Yeah. So I just think it's sad that it's like, it's the yeah. only one of its kind, and it choked on a rock and died alone. <laughs> what a way to go. Yeah. Oh. Well, you don't know if it was the only of its the kind. The only one we found. But yeah. they all did choke on rocks. <laughs> That's also why we tend to, like, uh, I think, know the bigger dinosaurs more, is it's literally because they're more massive, a higher right. percentage of big bones are still around. Right. Yeah, because we look at these bones and we go, oh, that's a bone. Poor little the buddies. Is, yeah. yeah, the rib bone could just be like a little cilia, and it dissolves in a hundred yeah. years. Yeah, M- more or less. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking hollow bones. Yeah, this one couldn't. He couldn't fly. He has. He has bad. He was wings. a glider. Well, well, he was right, trying, you said that he was a glider. He's trying yeah. to earn seven hundred thirty-seven thousand dollars yeah. for his family before he died. He could have. He could. <laughs> <laughs> he could have. Uh, trust one baby. Uh, he could have. <laughs> He could have actually, it could have been like the situation with like chickens where right. in their evolution, at one point they're gliders, at one point they're flyers. Now they're just shitty. <laughs> now runners. they're just kneeless, flapping right. monstrosities. Flapping monstrosities. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say it. Chickens don't have knees. That's my Chicken. stance. 
<laughs> we really should research that yeah, before we make a bold statement dude, like that. what do modern day birds have to do with a podcast about <laughs> dinosaurs? Yeah. Educate yourself, man. This, yeah, yeah. Read a Bible. God. I, <laughs> I'll direct I can't Im- you to Alan Grant. So. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine this thing flying based on the picture. No, I saw. it's uh, yeah. I uh, mean, and gliding. this is an artist rendition. Yeah, it's a, I but mean, it doesn't yeah. look like the wings are supportive. No, not at all. It looks like they're just like dumb claws mm-hmm. with feather, feathers off the top of them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this poor guy just <laughs> running off cliffs and <laughs> trying, just trying, just wily coyote his another, way around another hit of that sweet myth. <laughs> <laughs> running around, he may have eaten eggs though. The specimens that they found said no. Wasn't a big egg, egg eater, so he's just probably a baby a coward. Eater. Yeah, not an over raptor. My yeah, my my thought is that it was a coward. <laughs> yeah, and it was scared of like infiltrating the base. You know, it's pretty bold to like walk right. in on a nursery. Eggs means you right. have to fight at least one thing because it's protecting the eggs. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah, but this guy was just like I'm, unless you're a little sneaky vole. That was what they right. they you but come guy, up while they're asleep and you drill a hole in the egg and suck the juice out. And yeah, <laughs> that's Gross. why we're around still. Yeah, because <laughs> we suck the juice out of eggs. We're egg sucking motherfuckers. But I. Like like this this Lactating. is more of a, like a little baby eater of yeah. little mammals yeah but little I, mammal baby eater the name means little baby eater little baby Math eater turkey buddy dude <laughs> and I don't, western claw comes from the fact that i was talking about how it's like looks exactly like the micro raptors and the feathered dinosaurs of oh like yeah the I was east gonna ask. western it's because on oh. north america or what used to Try be to whatever north america draw used attention to, be, to the fact that it's weird that did not exist the yeah, yeah, yeah did not exist bridge. not a lot of not a lot of it flappers. Sounds like a, a magical like power move that a protagonist would use in a Stephen Chow movie. Western right. Claw, yeah. yeah. Western I Claw. Yeah. Imagine like an energy beam yeah. shooting out and destroying Takes your the world. heart out. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I. So it ate babies, but it was the like biggest. It wasn't. It was can, one of the smallest carnivores it, of the time. Of the time, but. It seems like comparatively everything running around at that time was not that much bigger than it. Yeah, exactly. At least in Alberta. Right, so it could take on a right. baby Montana before it got too it. big. Right, yeah. and then it would have to fight someone its like own it's size and it didn't want to do it's that. It's a rat, little rat eater. It's a rat catcher. Yeah, it just didn't want to fight someone its own size. Oh, yeah. No, not yeah. at all. Uh, yeah. and, and there were things bigger than it, but they were like herbivores mainly. Yeah. They were chickens running around scooping up field mice and bopping them on the head. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I feel like meth turkey is what it should be known by because yeah. it really sounds you like know, a meth. It had no teeth. Did it? Oh, that's. I was just about to ask. Did it have the leaf teeth or the? Because another no, thing. Had a, well, I'll save it for mine. But I have a tooth thing. Yeah. No, it, <laughs> it had normal like uh, raptor teeth. Yeah. Uh-huh. But little tiny ones. Little. Yeah. Little. Little needle teeth. Like the beak just has little points on little it. Little tiny yeah. needle teeth. Wait, what's yeah, they that don't... from? Uh, Napoleon Gen Dynamite? No. What? It's, needle it's... teeth? Uh, oh, Choo Choo oh, Star. Our friend, amazing comedian, Jen Lyon, one of her Talking sketches. About, she has a dog yeah. named Choo Choo Star. Dead poodle Choo Choo Star. Oh. He had those little needle teeth, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Choo Choo Star. But I did love him. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> look at the look, look at, that. at those teeth. Look at that. Uh, this picture is that we're looking at from Dino Wiki. And you can We'll at use that. Yeah. Go to the Patreon page. We'll use that. No. We'll use that one on the patreoncom yeah. beans. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I'll just zoom in on like the face area. The, yeah, the eyes. It has. Okay, we're zooming in on the meth eye. Yeah. The meth, then, yeah. Imagine this is like. What if this was turkeys? <laughs> also, it's like already... we had this during Thanksgiving in America. I wouldn't and... want to eat this, no, to be honest. Be uh, the image ah. we're going to post is already masked out as yeah. like a perfect Photoshop transparency. Mm-hmm. So I please encourage everyone to put it in, uh, you know, meth appropriate situations. And yeah. Post those. yeah. <laughs> if you can, yeah, put it in Breaking Bad settings. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to hold their hands through it, but that's what, that, we're, that's yeah, what that's, I was yeah. getting at. Uh, yeah. Give it a little uh, Walter White uh, pork pie hat. Uh, exactly. Oh. Oh. Uh, he has pants on, but they're flung to the side of the road. <laughs> Someone could call him Hessenberg. Oh, oh. Hessenberg. Well, we, we're not going to top that. Should we wrap it up? <laughs> wrap it up. Well, you got you to gotta ask that question that I long to hear. Yeah. What? Is that dinosaur real good, guys? Oh, this dinosaur is as good as the best blue meth out there. It's the best. <laughs>
Beth, Beth in the West. Beth, I you keep doing West. that. That's and what I'm going to go with. Beth, Beth, Beth Method in the West. It's Beth. as good as the Beth Method in the West. Yes. Real good dino. Real good buddy. 